Uh, guys, first off, congratulations on your new film and thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Pleasure thank to you. meet you. Dig in yeah. the... Uh... <laughs> Just set up. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, so guys, when watching Breaking, uh, I, it reminded me of, well, in some ways, of films such as Dog Day Afternoon with Pacino, John Q with Denzel Washington, Fruitvale Station, Falling Down with Michael Douglas, films with high intense human drama. So I wanted to ask you guys, why do you guys think that these types of films with real human conflicts have always captivated audiences? Let's start with Abby. Great question. Life is hard. <laughs> you're, you're, you're faced with problems that only have bad answers to them all of the time. Uh, two bad choices. So to have a place, a cinema, to go and process that, to have a catharsis, to, to, to be able to live on the edge of your seat with someone else's problems or to recognize your problems through the eyes of another, it, it gives you hope and it, it releases just a little bit of, of that tension. How about you, Kwame? Um, I think we are born into a world, into a sphere, into a space that says it's me against the world. Mm. And as we, as we grow, we hope that actually it's we against the world or at least it's we and not I. And mm. I think sometimes when we find cinematic narratives that actually take us back to the I. That I like that. To the I. Um, we, we're fascinated by it. Nice. Uh, Breaking is based obviously on a 2018 article titled They Didn't Have to Kill Him. So I wanted to ask you guys, what inspired both of you to get involved and co-write this project and why is it important that people get to see these real life stories in the big screen? Let's start with Kwame. Um, well, I, actually, I know this sounds really crazy, but I, I, I think it would be right to start with Abby because Abby, sure, of course, yeah, definitely, yeah. Abby invited me in, yeah. on, onto this. <laughs> sure, yeah. Well, I read the article uh, shortly after it came out, and my heart was broken for for Brian, for his his daughter, for his family for the veterans like my dad. And I, I was able to see my dad in a new way. I was able to, to have empathy for him, to have uh, a richer level of understanding of, of his spirit, of his courage, of uh, his day-to-day -day, really. So I, I'm hopeful that People that see it will have that as well. Beyond that, man, unmissable performances from these incredible actors. Definitely. How about you, Kwame? Um, you know, I, I would say one of the things I found most fascinating about this entire process is that when Abby and I were writing, and I, I'm based in London uh, at the time, and, and, and Abby in Los Angeles, which meant, you know, eight hours time difference is a thing. You know, I'm, I'm jumping on a, at 10 at night and, you know, and vice versa. Um, but one of the things was that always, always grounded me was Abby saying, this is my father. This is my father's story. And there is something primal about us wanting to tell the stories of those who birthed us, of those who we, 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 we look up to and have looked up to and have to negotiate our way through life through their eyes and the tools that they give us. And I think one of the things that, that I loved about wanting, about working on this was that it made me ask myself questions all of the time which is what are my tools and are mm. my tools enough? That's great. Uh, guys, again, the film is awesome. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and John Boyega is fantastic in it. So uh, again, congratulations on your new film and thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Saludos from Puerto Rico and stay safe, guys. Likewise. Peace and love.